So yesterday I got a message saying that Canada or the Liberal Party of Canada is pushing a bill for hate speech or a bill against hate speech and that could mean a life sentence and a fine of $70,000. I thought I should go check this and see how true this might be. So I decided to bring a video. Today we're going to be checking it out. So let's get to it. Perhaps the most frightening bill, liberal bill, is now up for discussion featuring such greatest hits as $70,000 fines Great and hits. or life in prison for hate speech. You might think, this is wild. This is totally insane. Nope. It's real life. And it's called the Liberal Online Harms Bill. And it will make online hate punishable up to $70,000 and life in prison. I want to repeat that. This is an important topic hmm. because it will affect everybody. Online, the online harms bill will make online hate, <clears throat> whatever that is. So what ascertains the online hate is it, is it like a spectrum or there's something that is online hate and there's something that could not be online hate how can you tell which is which yeah i think that's going to be the first determining factor we need to consider i want to repeat that this is an important topic because it will affect everybody everybody online the online harms bill will make online hate <clears throat> whatever that is punishable with fines up to seventy thousand dollars and or life in prison life in prison for digital words on the internet hmm. first and foremost how many canadians have seventy thousand dollars to pay that's a valid question before the bill goes through because I think I was reading a stat that said, was it in America or Canada? But if somebody needed an audience $500, they couldn't afford it. I think that might have been in Canada. Yeah, so I think they said 60% of Canadians could not afford $500 if they needed like an immediate or if they had an immediate expense. Now you're asking for $70,000 for hate speech? I don't know how many people can afford that. This is coming to a town near you. Oftentimes when I report on things that are happening in, for example, Canada, a lot of my American viewers will tune out and, and they'll say, ah, whatever, you know. I promise you that there's drafts of this going on in America right now. The online harms bill makes online hate punishable with life in prison. I would like to know, I will take one Canadian refugee to live in my brief shed. Must be a hard worker with a strong back and have a deep knowledge of maple syrup gathering. I'm not gonna put you to work in the fields farming maple syrup, I just, want to have those things out of my Canadians. The federal government, government tabled its long-awaited online harms bill on Monday, which is already shaping up to be a delicate political battle over freedom of expression on the internet, while also aiming to provide more protections for kids. It's always the think of the kids. Yeah. I heard that too. I heard when I heard it while I was why I wasn't so interested in it was the picture, the image I got was that the bill was to protect kids from internet bullying and protect kids from seeing content they shouldn't be seeing on the internet, which, you know, sounds like a good cause. And then all of a sudden I'm hearing life sentence if you say the wrong thing, prison, um, $70,000 penalties. So I'm like, I thought it was to help kids. So I don't understand, you know, how the spectrum works. Bill 63 aims to force social media user uploaded content and live streaming services 
to re reduce exposure to online content deemed harmful to strengthen the reporting of you know bad types of videos and to better address hate propaganda and provide recourses to victims of online hate. It also amends the criminal code to create a new standalone hate crime offense that would allow penalties up to life in prison to deter hateful conduct, as well as raise the maximum punishments for, quote, hate propaganda offenses, whatever that is, from five years to life imprisonment for advocating for genocide. Isn't that what everybody says about people who are pro-Israel? Is that, is that how they're going to use this law? Hmm. I'm the father of two youngsters and like parents. Yeah, but the tr the thing is, I keep asking though, how do you determine this? Because you know, if somebody comes to tell me, let's say when I was a, I was younger, my ear was something I didn't, you know, people used to say my ear was too big, and I thought that was a problem, right? To me, that was hate speech. Like, to me, it means you really hates me because you're making fun of my ear. So if somebody says that and I go report to the police as hate speech. It doesn't mean that person has to pay $70,000 fine. Like, I don't understand how this can be ascertained. Is there law defining laws of... I heard it's a 100-page bill, which um, I don't know how anybody's going to go through that. I mean, if you're writing bill for people, a normal person, an average person, summarize it so we can understand. <laughs> 100 pages? Who's going to read that? Parents and grandparents around... Canada, I'm terrified by the dangers that lurk on the internet. Then keep your kids off the computer. It's really not that difficult. It continues. Okay. I'm also a Muslim. The hatred that festers online is radicalizing people. And that radicalization has real world impacts for my community and for so many other communities, he added. So is this just he wants Sharia law for the internet? Is that is that all this is? Like just literal Sharia law for the internet? Now harmful content is defined in the legislation as content that incites bad behavior, that foments hate, so a meme? that also incites other bad behavior or is used to bully a child. So if you make fun of a kid, is that, is that gonna be, if you make is fun that of a kid, going to- Don't make fun of a kid. <laughs> qualify for life in prison? The bill also creates a new digital safety commission which somebody what well, he stated somebody mentioned that let's say you make fun of a kid and the kid dies because of you making fun of it then you can go to jail which means it's not necessarily the hate speech is the result of your hate speech that determines the penalties would that be accurate if i said that yeah somebody let me know like this one i'm talking a lot but i just need to share my thoughts i'm sure a lot of you have a lot to say about it too so you can talk to me in the comment section Let's have a discussion. And also, like, <laughs> it's uh, it's concerning. You know, I feel like this is a discussion everybody needs to have. In fact, people should vote. A bill like this, the whole nation should vote. Because you don't know how much hate speech you have in you until this bill, you know, is passed. And then you're like, oh, I wanted to type this under this comment section, but I guess I I'll hold it back. <laughs> and now you can't say anything anymore will be responsible for enforcing rules and holding online services accountable as well as another separate digital safety ombud ombud person ombuds person which will support and advocate for users and make recommendations to social so all it does is create a bunch of bureau bureaucratic jobs in the in the honor in the name of Think of the kids. He sounds very conservative, easy. By the way, this is the same country where people are fighting to make it okay for a 13-year-old to go and use a booth that uh, vaporizes them off the planet. 
Now, this legislation is mostly focused on protecting kids. Sure, I'm sure it is. But the question is, and perhaps I'm just too old and too cynical, perhaps, but we all know that's not how it's going to get used. Look what they did to the trucker convoy. Look what they did in America to the J6 people. I feel like that's going to be the problem. Yeah, that's why I'm asking who determines what his speech is. How is it going to be determined? Yeah, because this could be a tool now. When you give a law that is this generalized, it's going to be a tool for anything. I could come on here to criticize the government or say something I don't like about the government. And then two minutes later, there are police officers at my door arresting me for hate speech. And now I have to pay $70,000 penalties that I don't have. So, like, who's going to determine hate speech? If I had to take a lawyer to defend me against hate speech, what would they be defending me against? Yeah, I feel like it's really generalized. I, I don't know if the specificities are in the bill. I, I think I should read that bill. It's going to be a long one, but I'll read it just for you guys and I'll summarize it. Online services will be forced to remove two categories of content, spicy content, communicate, fine, revenge prawn, fine. I don't care about that. And, and mm -hmm. kid stuff, that's fine too. But that's never what these bills are all about. Like, okay, fine. If, if they were just, if the sole purpose of this bill was to get rid of, you know, these types of videos, then why does it include all this other stuff? People don't even get life in prison for, for murder. I mean, are you kidding me? You see, the Bill amends Canadian Human Rights Act to specify that posting hate speech online is discrimination. To empower people to file complaints against individuals for posting hate speech at the Human Rights Commission and to create a process for assessing hate speech complaints. Essentially, an unelected body will be the arbiters of truth. Hmm. Yeah, this one is going to be a wild one. Yeah, I'll put a link to his channel so you can go check out the full video. I just wanted to see like a little bit of what he said. Yeah, I'll go read the full bill and then we'll talk about it. But this is, this is, it's going to be hard to define. It's going to be very hard to define. Yeah, because what is, what is hate speech to me is going to be not hate speech to the other person you know we all have differences right so does it mean if you share your differences and i don't like it i can fight you by law and win yeah it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a lot this one is it's not something you rush into i mean if you're trying to protect kids i feel like this bill should there should be a bill that's direct that protects kids with like this kind of content for kids or against kids this one gives you life life imprisonment like very precise you know, like putting a lot of other things around generalizes everything. Unless there are specificities in the bill that is not being mentioned, which I can imagine because I was told it's like a hundred pages. <laughs> yeah, I'll go see if it's true for, for a fact and then I'll bring it to the channel. But yeah, that was a video by, let me call him out, The Quartering. Um, he has a lot of views already. I'm sure a lot of you know him. But share your thoughts, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully the next video is me breaking down the bill, <laughs> if I can read it. But I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.